In a box we have 25 parts. Three of these are known to be defective. If we randomly pick three of the parts from that box, what's the probability that all three are not defective? Um, so that none of the three would be defective. When we look at this one, since we're randomly picking the three parts, we're going to assume that each part is equal likely to be chosen. Since the, we've got this equal likely condition, we can use counting techniques to count the number of ways to choose three parts that are not defective out of the number of ways to choose three parts in general from the box itself. So I'm going to let E be the event, or um, that we choose three non-defective parts. So the probability of E will be the number of ways that E can occur. How many ways can we choose three non-defective parts over the number of uh, possibilities? Uh, the number of ways of choosing three parts. So the number of E here is we've got to look at a combination problem. Is We're choosing three non-defective. in which how many non-defectives we have. There's 25 parts in the box, three are defective, so that we know that there's 22 that satisfy this condition. So the number in E is going to be 22 choose 3. And so using our combination formula, we know this is 22 factorial over 3 factorial times 22 minus 3 factorial. So I have 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 factorial all over 3 times 2, that's 3 factorial. And here we have 19 factorial. So I expanded the top so that I got the largest factorial term. So I can cancel out these factorial, 19 factorial, 19 factorial and then see what other uh, reduction I can do. Well I know 3 goes into 21 7 times and then we can divide 2 into 20. So we have that the number of ways that E can occur is going to be uh, 22 times 7 times 10. The number of ways that we can select three parts in general will be 25 choose 3. That's going to be our denominator term. So I have 25 factorial over 3 factorial times 25 minus 3 factorial. 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 factorial all over 3 factorial times 22 factorial. The 22 factorials cancel out and then we can, well the 3 factorial is 3 times 2 which is 6, I know that divides into 24 4 times. So we have that the uh, number of ways that we can choose 3 out of 25 is 25 times 4 times 23. So my probability of E is the number of ways that we can choose three that are non-defective. And right here we found that. 22 times 7 times 10 over the number of ways that we can choose three out of the uh, box in general. 25 times 4 times 23. And now I just need to try to reduce this down as far as I can if that's possible. And so I see uh, to begin with, I can take out a 5 from 25 and this becomes a 2. I've got 4 is actually the uh, 2 times 2. So I'm going to take a 2 out of 22 and this 2 and this 2 will cancel each other out. So on top I have 11 times 7 is 77 
and in the denominator I have 5 times 23 and 5 times 23 should be a 115. So the probability of selecting three non-defective is 77 out of 115.